I think the challenges are by and large the same. 15 to 20 years ago, I was one of those frontline staff um, really working really hard day to day. I think the pressures are very similar. Um, the environment is probably slightly different. The expectations are often higher. And of course, we've now got um, vastly advancing medical technologies and people can survive for a lot longer. I think people's expectations of um of interpretation of those has changed and people's expectations of how quickly people can act on diagnosis has changed. Uh, for the better, of course, but I think it's putting a significant demand on, um, on both medical and nursing staff in, in hospitals in particular. Um, and again, that probably does put much more pressure on, on staff that maybe wasn't there many years ago. The, th the thing for me, um, I think, Jane, is how we give organisations and people in, in a really difficult environment the permission to implement the sorts of ideas mm. that, um, that largely the younger generation are coming up with. Because there's a risk, isn't there, that when the, the economic going is rough, that innovation in the public sector sometimes gets stifled people go oh, you know now's not quite the time mm. we don't have the money you know let's let's not rock the boat when actually um, that's exactly that's the exactly time when they to have the new it. ideas yeah. and rock the boat and be yeah. disruptive and sometimes it's what would appear to be the simplest idea that can have the biggest impact mm. um, and i guess the one that is top of lots of people's minds at the moment and one that's certainly all over the place on twitter mm is the idea that Kate Granger had around Hello My Name Is. Mm. Um, and it's, it, started as, you know, it started from when she was a patient and her, her writing about what it felt like to be a patient and how doctors and nurses and other staff didn't introduce themselves. But it's had a massive impact across, mm. across the country. So I think, yes, we need to think about innovation and really innovative ways of doing things differently, but also sometimes just learning from some very small examples that can make such a big difference to the people we look after. One, one of the things that worries me is that for so long, um, the NHS has kind of waited for ideas to come down from mm. above. And the reality is that the solution to many of the problems in the NHS, if not all of them actually, lies in the intellectual capital of the 1.4 million people who work for the yeah. NHS. Um, and we have 50,000 junior doctors who move from hospital to hospital. Yeah. So they know where the good stuff is and they know where the really bad stuff is. And we should really be using them as some of the biggest change agents in the NHS. Uh, so absolutely, yeah, they are the change yeah. agents. And I think, one, for me, that was one of the most powerful things about NHS Change Day last year. Yeah. Was It started off with a, a few people. It started off with frontline staff talking about it. And it just extended to yeah. so many people and sort of almost lit a fire under so many people that felt, actually, I can say something. I can make a pledge. I can make a difference, which so, was just phenomenal. So it would seem to me that as leaders of the profession, um, you know, nursing, medicine, that we should be thinking about how we listen yep. increasingly to the, to the younger generation because they have to live with the decisions that we make about the service. Exactly.